It's become a rate hike fight. The Environmental Protection Agency wants cleaner air, but do you want to pay higher electric bills as a result? One Virginia senator says his legislation would save your pocketbooks. Some, though, say his proposal has the possibility of an expensive catch, too. I got Senator Frank Wagner on the phone to talk about what's at stake for Dominion customers. His bill got its first big approval from a Senate panel today. My bill directs Dominion not to shut down any existing generating facilities, even those they might have had planned to shut down, until we know exactly what it is we're going to have to shut down. Senator Frank Wagner says he's moving to protect Dominion Electric customers from significant hikes that would be inevitable with the EPA's newly proposed rules. Our own state corporation commission has called arbitrary, capricious, and unlawful and estimates a minimum of a 20% rate increase for all Virginians. That's about $400 for the average Virginian. And in tight times, some may feel that's just too much. We're trying to slow this thing down and offer up a rate cap. We have the most competitive rates of any of our states in the Mid-Atlantic region. But others argue that a freeze on base rates has a big catch. It weakens state oversight of Dominion Virginia Power's rates, after all, exempting the company from biennial reviews by the State Corporation Commission for six years. Attorney General Mark Herring's office has said lessening oversight of a regulated monopoly like Dominion could result in consumers paying higher than necessary electric rates, mainly from surcharges. Senator Wagner sees things differently. There may be some fuel adjustments in there right. uh, as a result of fluctuating fuels, which could just as easily be down is up depending on where the price of the underlying fuels goes. And he says the attorney general might have a lot to say, but someone needed to step up and fight. To date, the attorney general's done nothing to protect the consumers of Virginia. He failed to file a lawsuit, even though 12 other states have filed a lawsuit. Those are going to the Supreme Court. Now, Dominion spokesperson Benita Billingsley Harris says Wagner's bill is necessary because the EPA Clean Power Plan proposes a much stricter compliance goal for Virginia than any of our neighboring states. She says the average residential customers will see a decrease in your electric bill from $115 per se and about 95 cents to $109.49.